Okay, if you want the total count counter to reset this guy here, then uh, we can add a block in. Let's go add in. This it says when ML1 is equal to or greater than a million. So on the millionth count, reset it. Reset ML1. And then we can go up there and uh, switch over this camera and you can see so the counter setting it 999 or whatever you want to set it you can choose where it's reset it at but to say I have it 9999 I want to reset it a million so I'm going to put this wire on the hot on and it should roll it to zero. So I think that's what you wanted to do. So whatever you want, uh, wherever you want it to be, wherever you want it to reset, right? This number in the here, this compare block, you'd say compare whatever's in that register you want to reset, and then at what number do you want it to reset when it's equal to a million then you reset it and i'm just i'm in online mode here so if i want to change that to any different number you could have it reset it whatever let's say you could change that there and back to that and then to test that you put it in online mode and we'll write a value to this uh, register. Oh, there it is. So we write a value into this guy into MI1. Um, we're going to say it's. Oh, I'm it's, oh, it's, saying to reset. There's a nine. One, two, three. One, two, eight. I sent that value over so we can see it here and we should be able to see it on the screen. I, uh, this back. So you can see it sent the value to the screen. And I'll see if it reset. I don't know if I have enough other digits right. Yep, it resets. So that should that should work if you're someone to reset. Now you won't know when it rolls, so you know, you can do the math on it and they'll make the counts make sense if they do the math. If they know that it rolls at a million, then um, I guess that's what you're thinking to do there, which makes sense. Thanks.